Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series, your source for all the latest news and updates. Alright, today is Tuesday. As always, I'll be going over today's brand new Red Dead Online update with everything that you need to know. Also, before we get into the new update, according to a Rockstar Insider, it looks like we're getting a new Red Dead Online patch sometime soon. Fun to notice that Rockstar Games has made some interesting changes on the Steam database and the first branch aka QA Beta was updated and while that doesn't mean we have a new DLC pack, it does mean Rockstar are actually working and testing on some kind of patch for now. The last few patches into Red Dead Online were focused around improving some of the stability of the servers and also bringing the animal spawns back and also just spawning of the random encounters you come into in the world such as the dog or people that you need to save. These are things that just have not been working correctly since the Moonshiners update. While the last few patches addressed these and improved them somewhat, they're still not 100% working correctly. There's still servers I go into where I can't barely find any animals. And not to mention all of the existing bugs causing us to lose moonshine all the time. Alright, so let's get back to today's Red Dead Online update. There are 8 clothing items back into the game. These are not new clothing items, they're just limited stock items. Coming back for a period of 2 weeks, so you have until the 11th of May to purchase any of these. These include the Fanned Stovepipe Hat, Wanjilla Hat, Benbow Jacket, Eberhardt Coat, Concho Pants, Darn stockings, boyer boots, and salter shoes. Next up, there are XP bonuses for collectors and bounty hunters. First of all, collectors will be getting double roll XP when they find collectibles. And for bounty hunters, you will receive a 50% roll XP boost on any bounty missions and all of the legendary bounty missions, including also the bounty hunter free roam events. I do want to note here that these XP boosts are actually only for roll XP and not character XP. This means if you're already maxed in the collector or the bounty hunter roll, you won't be getting any extra XP. I'm really not sure why Rockstar keeps limiting these XP boosts each week to only roll XP rather than character XP, because it just means that anybody that's already maxed in these rolls, like most active players already are, won't be getting anything from these update weeks. Especially when Grand Theft Auto Online is also updated each week and they get double and sometimes even triple XP on activities and that's not limited for new players, you know, those triple XP activities and even triple cash activities are for all players, beginners and veterans. Next up, the update today has actually introduced a massive amount of discounts and these include 40% off all roll weapon variants, 40% off the bounty and hunting wagon, 30% off all revolvers, 40% off all roll camp themes, 70% off all skirts, 70% off all boots, 80% off all accessories, this includes gloves, neckwear, spurs, half chaps, suspenders, max, masks and chaps, and lastly 80% off all collector maps. So that was everything included in today's new Red Dead Online update. If you are looking forward to the next Red Dead DLC, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I cover all of the latest news and updates for Red Dead, so you don't want to miss out on any breaking news. Have a good one guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Today's video is brought to you by So You Want To Be A YouTuber. This is your ultimate strategy guide to branding, building viewership momentum, and monetizing a YouTube channel with as little as a thousand subscribers. It's beautifully printed in full color and is now available on Amazon paperback and Kindle. Check out the link in the description or search so you want to be a YouTuber on your local Amazon store and you can even preview it for free.